Setup. Attaching the DJI Focus Pro to your camera is fairly straightforward. Although, because I have a bigger camera, I did not utilize all of the parts in the Creator Combo Kit because I used some parts that I already had on my camera. Your setup may use all of the parts. So in my case, I attached the side rail rod adapter to my camera's side plate using two of the included screws. Then I slid on the Focus Pro grip and locked it into place. Next, I attached the LiDAR to my cold shoe. I then plugged in one of the provided USB-C control cables. Then I slid the motor onto my rail and made sure that the gears on the motor lined up with the focus gears on my cine lens before locking it into place. Most people will probably use prime lenses, but in my case I'm using a 17 to 50 mm zoom lens. This compact zoom works well with the system because it's par focal. Next, I plugged in the other provided USB-C control cable into the motor. Finally, I plugged the other ends of the cables into the grip. The grip is labeled as to which cable goes where. Operation. First, charge the Focus Pro grip. You just use the USB-C charging cable that connects to the bottom of the grip and then runs to a USB wall charger plugged into a power outlet. Next, set your lens to its widest aperture, and if you're using a zoom like I am, to its longest focal length, 50mm and T2.9 in my case. With the fully charged grip mounted to the side of the camera, I'll press and hold the power button for a few seconds. Next, slide the screen to the right. You'll see the image from the LiDAR. You'll notice that I can tap the magnifying glass to enlarge the image. I'll tap it again to zoom back out to wide. Next, I'll tap the settings slider on the screen to set up the lens we have on the camera. I'll tap the installation distance option. Then I'll measure in millimeters the distance from my camera's focus plane to the end of the LiDAR. I measured 18 centimeters, which equals 180 millimeters. So I'll adjust the slider to 180 millimeter. Then I'll tap the back arrow. Next, I'll tap lens profile. C1 is selected. You can store multiple lenses. So I'll tap the right arrow twice and then set the focal length of my current lens. I'll make it 50 millimeter. Then I'll hit the back arrow. Then I'll tap Start Motor Calibration. The motor will turn your focus gears to their limits. Next, I'll tap the Confirm button. Now it's asking me to move my camera one meter away from the focus chart. You don't have to measure any distance. Just move your camera until you are one meter away from the chart. The grip screen will show you your distance. Next, you can use your finger to turn the wheel on the front of the grip to adjust your focus manually. The goal is to make the chart as sharp as it can be looking through your camera's monitor, not the Focus Pro Grips monitor. Once you nail focus, tap the bottom of the Focus Pro Grip screen. That's step one. It's actually pretty easy and quick to do when you're doing it. For step two, we'll move our camera 4.5 meters away from the test chart. Again, you don't have to measure. The grip screen will tell the distance as you move your camera. Then you repeat the process of using the wheel on the grip to focus your camera's monitor to the sharpest it can be on the test chart. Once you nail focus, tap the bottom of the Focus Pro Grip screen and my lens will be ready to use. Notice it says added successfully and auto focus enabled. Note, the M button is used to switch in and out of auto and manual focus modes. Very helpful. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.